Hi, I'm Anne Latour with Advocates of Heaven, and you have probably seen me on other videos on social media or maybe even here at the Ministry of Advocates of Heaven. I am so excited to introduce you to this new course called Fragmentation Basics. It has been a much needed course within the Ministry of Advocates of Heaven, and I am excited to have put this together with Holy Spirit and with King Jesus. It is the perfect course if you are just starting off in your healing journey, or if maybe you're under you're trying to understand soul fragmentation a little bit more. Maybe you've already been in a traditional deliverance or inner healing. Well, soul deliverance, which is what this course is, um, is really another level to inner healing, another level to traditional deliverance, where soul deliverance is getting to the wounded soul parts, the traumatized soul parts that you had uh, experienced as a child. In this course, you will learn the basics of soul fragmentation. You're going to learn the basics of trauma and healing the wounded soul fragments. And you're going to understand a little bit about how to find your purpose and destiny, because that's one thing that only you can find with King Jesus. You are also going to learn a little bit about triggers and coping mechanisms. You are going to learn a little bit about the courts of heaven, because you are going to present a court case in the courts of heaven through this course and through the self-guided deliverance within this course. So one of the things about uh, soul deliverance and about healing and our healing journey is really to heal the mind, the heart, right? Because that is what chooses Jesus or not is our mind, will, and emotions. We have the choice to rebel against God, or we have the choice to uh, accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And there's parts of our soul, there's parts of our mind that are not in alignment with God. And we know this because we rebel and we do things that we regret later. We are made of a body, a soul, and a spirit because we're made in the image of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our body, our soul, and our spirit, they are all striving to align with the living word of God. Because Jesus, if we've accepted Jesus into our heart, Jesus and the living word of God resides through us, in us, and through us. But our soul, well, our wounded soul, it gets in the way. But in God's grace and his mercy and his love, he designed us, he designed the human soul to fragment or to split off. Some people say fragment, some people split off, becoming the actual protector during the trauma, during the traumatic experience. Parts of our soul that split off, which I refer to as soul fragments most of the time, they learn how to protect us. They learn through their own reality, their counterfeit reality of how to run our life. Hence, we might have uh, an experience that we get triggered and we end up doing something or saying something that we regret later. But that's because maybe we had a two-year-old, a five-year-old, a six-year-old soul fragment come up and say something that we regretted. They're just wounded parts of our mind, of our soul, of our heart that are just trying to feel alive. They are trying to live through our life, but we can't have a five-year-old running our life. And if we look around, the world is kind of like that, where our world seems to be driven, seems to be controlled by a bunch of little kids or soul fragments. Until we heal them, well, then we will feel like we're infested with demons. Um, they actually will feel like demons because I have noticed a lot of time, even in my own personal journey of healing, where... I thought I was a demon and it keep com it kept coming back and it didn't make sense until I started to realize that what I was dealing with was my soul. What I was dealing with was something in my mind. It had nothing to do with a demon, although it'd be easier for me to point my finger at a demon. But the whole thing is I kept pointing my fingers at demons and it wasn't going away. That is why soul deliverance is super important in our journey of healing, in our journey of becoming just like King Jesus. Our soul fragments manifest like demons at the worst times, like in job interviews, on dates, uh, conversations, very important conversations you're having with family or loved ones. It could be at family reunions they manifest, the church functions. They come up, our soul fragments manifest as demons, and we 
really what happens, the result of it is we get embarrassed, we're ashamed, we're feeling guilty. That's if we can do some self-reflection on that, right? We start to realize, oh gosh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. Well, that is the soul fragments coming forward. They need help and they need healing. It was trauma that caused them to split off and to fragment. So it's important for us to understand that trauma causes the soul fragment to split or our soul to split. And when that originally happened, our soul was stuck in a realm of their own consciousness, their own identity. They believe that they can protect us a particular way. And that's why there's particular triggers that will come up. And we, we go to that particular coping mechanism, whether it be anger, whether it be self-soothing with addictions or even unworthiness or overeating. There's so many different ways that our soul needs to cope when really it just needs healing. You know, what's crazy is one of the things that I have seen through soul deliverance is that people will feel like their timelines are off. That's a typical um, explanation during group deliverances where they say they say that their their timeline feels like it's been manipulated with. Well, yes, your timeline will get manipulated, will feel stuck because if a part of your soul splits off when you're five, six, seven, 10 years old, 12 years old, and that part gets stuck in a realm somewhere. Well, that's a part of your consciousness stuck with within that time frame. So yeah, your timeline will feel like it's all jacked up because there's a part of your soul in the past. And you need to be current, you need to be conscious with what is happening in your life right now. So you can receive from the spirit from Holy Spirit of how to um, how to fight the battle that you're in right now. But if you're trying to fight the battle in your that you're in right now, and a part of your soul is in the past, it's going to be really hard for you to stay conscious in the present. One of the things about our soul and the soul fragments is that when the soul splits off, it becomes like a, a puzzle piece, or I also use the analogy, it's kind of like a an app on your electronic device where you have the electronic device and then you might download an app. Well, that app, you have to press it, you have to open it, you have to click it in order for that app to be opened. Well, our soul fragments, it's like they they hear, um, oh, maybe Siri is a good example, right? You, you say Siri, you say whatever it might be, and it triggers the response. It could be a chat GPT, um, where you ask it, you say one word, and it has a command, it has a prompt. Our soul fragments work the same way. So if there's a sound, any one of the five senses will trigger and will prompt the soul fragment to come forward and act a particular way. And that's why we need healing because that soul fragment, that part of our soul should not be ruling and running our life. And you probably can agree with me on this because you've made choices and you've made decisions that when you look back later, you're thinking, why did I say that? Or why did I do that? But that's typically because there's an app that opened up in your mind that drove you to make a particular decision, whether it be a relationship, whether it be something actually like a financial decision, whatever it might be, it drove you to make a decision that you found out later well, that was not God speaking. You opened an app that you thought was the God app because our soul fragments also believe that they are gods. And that goes back to the Garden of Eden where our soul fragments feel like they have their way of protecting us. They feel like they have their own identity. So then they become gods in our life. And we listen to that part of our soul more than we listen to Jesus. That's why it is very important for us to get soul deliverance. And this course will help you with that. This course is to help educate you and equip you with the knowledge and the understanding that we need to heal those parts, those top parts of our wounded soul. In this course, you will learn the basis of soul fragmentation, of trauma, of triggers, of coping mechanisms, and of course, how to remove those distractions that keep us from becoming and manifest this on a God, keep us from knowing our true purpose and our identity. So within this course is a self-guided soul deliverance prayer within the courts of heaven to remove accusations that hold us back from walking in the identity that King Jesus gave us before the foundations of the world. So if you are wondering, 
where do you start here at Advocates of Heaven? You just came to this website and you're like, where do I start, Anne? There's a lot of stuff here on this website. Where do I go? This would be the number one course that I would highly recommend for you to start at. This is the best place to start here at Advocates of Heaven. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you within the course. God bless you and I love you.